If you have been frustrated with iPadOS 26's free floating windows and the disappearance of the good old split view and slide over, you are not alone. And it seems that Apple is finally realizing that most iPad users were happy with the simpler drag and drop multitasking system. And finally, it's bringing it back with iOS 26.2 update. Let me start with the biggest win. The drag and drop split view is officially back. While there's no separate split view mode as it used to be in iPadOS 18, the feature works on top of the existing windowed apps and stage manager multitasking system. To use drag and drop split view, first launch an app. Now drag and drop an app to the left or the right side and you will see an arrow appear at the screen's edge. If the first app's window is in full screen mode, split view will be created automatically. However, what if the first app was in windowed mode? In that case, only the drag window will open in split view. You can then drag and flick the other window to add it to the split view. You can also leave that windowed app as is and drag another app from the dock into the split view. Apart from the dock, you can also drag apps from Spotlight or from the app library to open in split view. As you might have noticed, you can replace apps in split view by dragging an app on top of it. You can use the drag handle in the middle to resize the apps in split view. Because it uses the new windowing mode, you are no longer limited to half or quarter size layouts. You can fully resize the apps in whatever size combination you want. Next up is slide over. You might remember that slide over technically came back in iPadOS 26.1, but you needed menu bar or a keyboard shortcut to use it. Now you can use drag and drop again just like the old days. To open an app in slide over mode, drag and drop it to the edge of the display. See how the arrow now covers the app and there's a glass border around it, let go of the app and it will open in slide over. I can also easily replace the slide over app by simply dragging another app on top of it. Notice the overlay window when I drag an app. When it's on top of a split view, it's thick and it gets narrower when on top of the slide over app. It's a nice visual cue to show whether the app will open in split view or slide over. I use the word almost in this video's title as there's still one big missing feature. You cannot add multiple apps to slide over, which is a bummer. But seeing how Apple is clearly listening, testing and rolling back changes, I'm hopeful this feature will return soon. And that about does it for this video. Before you go, click here to learn all the other ways you can activate and use slide over on your iPad. I will see you there. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day.